Good morning, everybody. I am Deb Harkness, and I am going to show you some of my travel hacks over the next couple of weeks. I fly hundreds of thousands of miles every year. I offset my carbon footprint whenever possible, but the traveling is necessary for work, so I think you could probably call me a professional traveler. I almost never check a bag. I almost always carry just a carry-on roller suitcase and a personal item, more on that later. But I wanted to start today with something that I pack first in every single trip that I take, and it is a wellness bag. Now, why do I pack this first? Well, it's a little bit like why do you do yoga or take a run first thing? It's because if you don't put it in first, you might not put it in at all. So I am going to show you all of the things that are in this bag. I love these bags. Um, it's called Bag Smart. I actually got it uh, through Amazon, our future overlords, uh, but I'm sure you can get something like it. It's sort of shaped a little bit like a train case, which I like, and uh, it's TSA approved. But one thing to note is that I don't actually use this wellness bag for anything that is TSA restricted. So it doesn't count against your liquid allowance or anything like that. Um, and I did that intentionally because uh, I already have enough liquids and pastes and gels to transport. All right, so I'm gonna zip this open. Lovely little zipper, cute little handle on the top. I usually keep this in my personal item, but sometimes, Due to space constraints, it goes in my travel, uh, my travel carry-on. I don't know what I was pausing on. All right, first out of the bag, socks. I love travel socks of any description. Mostly, I love them because my feet are always cold. And when they're cold, they cramp at night. Yes, even in 98 degree Texas heat in an air conditioner, I am freezing. So I always take a pair of little socks. These are actually super cool ones. These have got like that moisturizing thing in it. Slather on some moisturizer, put your little footsies in those, give yourself a little bit of a spa treatment. And it's just really comforting and lovely, especially when you can't really control the temperature perfectly. So that's the first thing, a nice pair of comfy socks. The second thing um, I got is these little squidgy balls. They are Mayo, they're for fascia release. Mine are covered in dog hair. Look, can you see? This is from my dog Baxter. Basically, I take these two little balls because you can position them behind your neck, behind your shoulder blades. You can use them on your IT band. So it's a little bit like having a massage. Um, it's a self massage, but it counts when you're traveling because listen, if you can't feel good about yourself when you're traveling, especially if you're on vacation, you're doing something wrong. But pulling bags and travel can also be stressful. So I like to pack these little items. They just fit in a little bag. This is a repurposed bag. Um, the next thing that I take are eye shades. Okay, now there are two reasons for this. First of all, because I have perpetually dry skin ever since I had chemotherapy. And the other reason um, is because I get uh, a lot of dry eye, allergy eyes moving to different climates. Um, and I also need to sleep in a dark room and I can't always control the light coming in. So I take one, I got this, I just Googled best eye shade. This is kind of like fitted. It kind of looks like a, a tiny little bra for a small person. Um, it's got a lovely little nose flap there and you just pop that on and you are in darkness, which I cannot sleep if I don't. I also, I sort of wrap that around my other mask, which is one of these derm masks. The derm mask um, is a fabulous thing. If you have are going somewhere that has a microwave, you can heat it. If you have a freezer or fridge, you can pop it in a little plastic bag and put it in your mini fridge, or you can put it in a freezer, and then it's cool relief. Um, I have been known to sleep in it. I don't think they necessarily market it for that, but hey, what the heck. And the thing that's great about it is, is that 
they have these little liners and you can actually dampen one of those with warm water or cold water put it on your eyes put this on top of it let this dry overnight out in the air and you'll have some eye relief my preferred melatonin pierre Pauli, recommended to me by a health professional i adore them okay my favorite 599 gizmo the rolling head scratcher i carry so much tension in my head and neck a little whiz through this with this thing you're feeling better already okay i love a sheet mask especially when you can pack them and not put them in your liquid so i usually have some eye masks i've usually got a face mask or two I go to Sephora, I pick up the sheet mask, or to Target and pick up the sheet mask. I also pack bath salts because, hey, if you're going to have a hotel room with a great tub, which I don't have at home, you need bath salts. This was just one that I've had forever. It's in a packet. Uh, bath salts rather than bath liquids because easier to transport. So I have a little L'Occitan cube. I've got some bath salts, not because I... I care about my cellulite because I don't, it, but just they came in a pouch, so I bought some. And finally, good smells are important to me. So I have a little candle. This is the candle of calm. In a tin, I pop that in the bag along with a book of safety matches, which you are allowed to take on an aircraft. And then these wonderful Madison and Green aromatherapy so this one is inspire and create and you pop it off and it's filled with dry ingredients but it's aromatherapy sometimes i take this out on a plane and take a deep sniff if you're sitting next to or adjacent to a problematic passenger i also just take the lid off and leave it open in my hotel room just because i'm really sensitive to smells so all of that stuff fit into this little bag and it's my wellness kit and I never ever start packing a bag or go on a trip without making sure that this goes in first because without wellness nothing else really matters. So take care of yourself. I will be back with personal item tips and how to travel with crafty supplies if you're a crafty person and roller bag packing the whole thing as i get ready for book tour and some of you i know are taking road trips to see me so summer travel hacks number one the wellness kit